square coffee table has a side length of six feet. What is its perimeter? What is its perimeter? Let's go ahead and start this question off. Now, I know a lot of us will be able to solve this before, probably before I'm done reading this question, but I want to make sure that we get started the right way for all of us involved. So, my party people, let's ask ourselves this. The first thing we always want to do in a word problem is identify the question. We want to know what we're doing here. We want to know why we're trying to do anything at all. So, everyone, what is the goal, the purpose of this question? Can you give that to me in a phrase or a short sentence? Even for those of us that are confused, even for those of us that are nervous about math, can you tell me what we're looking for in this question? Yeah, we want to find the perimeter. Exactly. We want to know the perimeter. And from there, well, yeah, what shape are we dealing with? I like that you guys are already talking about that. That's good. That's good. Cool. Let's start. So for those of you that are here for the first time, the first thing you want to do is identify the question. What do I want? You're going to see that up here at the top left a ton. So right over here, most, mostly every question you'll see that up there. But the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, Hey, what the heck do I want? Why am I doing this problem? You know, what is, what is the solution to this problem? What do I want to end up with? Think about it like life. Like, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to get done? You don't want to waste time. So right there, what is its perimeter? Its perimeter. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate. Stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. Hey, welcome in. So now the first thing you wanna do, everyone, 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 like I said, the main advantage that you have with geometry word problems is that there are formulas involved. So the first thing you read for the question itself was perimeter. We're looking for perimeter. Now the next thing you want to ask yourself immediately is, okay, if I want to know what formula, I need to know what shape. Because if I know the shape and I know what I'm trying to figure out, there's a formula to it. And so in the beginning of the problem, it clearly states, let me give myself a little more room there again. It clearly states that we're dealing with a square coffee table. So everyone, I got you, Pedro, there we go. So everyone go ahead, please, in the chat box, let me know what formula comes to mind when you're thinking of finding perimeter for a square coffee table. Can you write down the whole perimeter formula for me like this equals formula? Can you do that for me and do it for you? <laughs> Stephanie, I love it. Four times the sides. And I want you guys to be a little more specific. Go ahead and type it like this. I'm going to type it into the chat box with you. So I typed it like this. Perimeter equals four times the side. Go ahead. You know, be detail-oriented in practice because if you're detail-oriented now, you'll be detail-oriented everywhere. And there's never a bad thing about being detail-oriented, to my knowledge, so unless you're a stalker, obviously that's bad, but here we want to be detail oriented. All right. So write that out. Perimeter equals four times the side. Cool. And more specifically, Deja, that's right. Perimeter of a square is four times the side. So that's the first thing I'm thinking of. Okay, guys. First thing I'm writing down is I'm looking for the perimeter of a square. And that's going to equal four times the side. Guys, knowing your formulas is way too important because they're going to be problems. And I'm going to set you up now, but you're going to see later. You're not always going to be solving for the perimeter. You could also be asked to solve for the side. 
you got to know what you're looking for and what formulas are associated with it. Knowing this, bam, gives us a great opportunity to say, hey, we're looking for a perimeter. Next up, everybody, if I'm just looking at step one of what I wrote down and I didn't tell you anything else, if all I told you was, hey, you're looking for perimeter, here's a formula, what would you ask me next? You can ask me for any information. What would you ask me for? If I tell you, this is all you see, I'm telling you to find a perimeter with this formula, what are you gonna ask me for? Damien says, what do we have? What is N for the side? What's the measurement? What's the side exactly? Exactly. That's the next question you would ask. Because look, think about it like this, everybody. If you already knew from the beginning of the problem that, oh crap, I'm looking for perimeter and it's a square. Here's my formula. Let me write it out. Okay, cool. I'm looking for that perimeter. I highlighted it in red, but notice how my side right over here, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. If I knew what it was, everybody, wouldn't this be a really easy problem? I could just plug it in and I'd be done. Right, that's the idea. Notice that, yes, this is a very short problem. You don't need to overcomplicate it. It may sound like I'm overcomplicating it, but I can promise you, once these problems get a little more, a little bigger, more fluff words, you know, with bigger formulas or different formulas, you're gonna see that the same thing always applies. If you know how to connect your information to a geometric formula, then all you have to do is find the pieces and get it done. Everyone, they give us the side. What is that side length gonna be? It's gonna be six. We have a side length of six feet. There we are. Plug that right in and we're good. Because we see that we're looking for the perimeter. We just needed the side and we found that side. That side is six feet. And so that's all we have to do now. To find the perimeter, we'll do four times six. And that's gonna be the hardest math we'll do all day. Four times six is gonna be what? 24. And because it's perimeter, it's not gonna be 24 square feet, it's gonna be 24 feet. Perimeter is just the distance around, and a distance is typically, can be regarded like a straight line. So you're good there. So the perimeter here equals 24 feet.